back again. Today we are making a video for INF 2611, one of the UNISA uh, Python uh, modules um, uh, that uh, is offered. So once you log into my UNISA and you go to additional resources, there's two documents. One is Anaconda and uh, PQt uh, installation guide, and the other one is how to link Qt Designer to Jupyter Notebook program. Today's main focus is going to be on installation of Anaconda and PyQt. Once the document is downloaded and you unzip it, it has a few steps that you need to follow uh, in order to download uh, uh, Anaconda um, as the first step. So that's what I'll just quickly show. Uh, I'll share the link to uh, the website um, and uh, you click on uh, the installer for your operating system. Today we are covering Windows. Once you've downloaded uh, Anaconda from the website, you get the EXE, which uh, when you double click it, starts the installer and then you just uh, accept the license and uh, the installation path. Uh, okay, it looks like... Uh, okay. Uh, don't worry about the error. Uh, let's just continue. It was uh, identifying uh, my previous installation. <clears throat> so it's just uh, creating a new folder. Okay. Uh, don't worry if the installation process takes long. Mine did take long. Uh, just posted and continued. Okay, so I'm just going to click finish. And then we should be able to open... Let me let me do it this side. Open Anaconda Navigator. Okay. Once uh, Anaconda Navigator opens, uh, you scroll inside and you look for Jupyter Notebook. You click Launch. Uh, Jupyter Notebook. I've clicked Launch, and then it opens up this browser. Okay. So um, when you're inside this browser. Uh, the first thing you can do is probably just start up a Python environment. Uh, this is um, from INF 15.11, where you've done uh, Python coding. Uh, this would be your Jupyter Notebooks Python window. Let me just uh, put in an example. Let's keep it short, just for demonstration purposes. There we go. Okay, so that's how you run your Anaconda with the Jupyter Notebooks. Thank you.